In today's video, I'm going to show you three different ways in which you can watch Sling TV on your different Google devices. First, casting from the application, then casting from Google Home to your Chromecast device, and then the third is watching it on your smart display. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. Shout out to Google for sending me this awesome t-shirt. So first, if you haven't heard of Sling TV, this is internet TV that you can watch through an application, through your phone, and many different ways. Now the great part about Sling TV is it is only about $25 a month to get started. And there are different plans and different add-ons that you can add, but my parents have been using Sling TV for a while because they were able to cancel cable and save about $180 a month by getting rid of cable and then starting to use Sling TV. So first, let me show you how to create that Sling account, and then we'll get into how to watch Sling TV on your different devices. Now, the first thing is we will need a premium Sling TV account. Now, if you don't have one, you can sign up for a free trial, but I'll leave a link to that in the description below so you can get signed up. So I'm gonna head into the Sling TV app, which you can get on Android or iOS devices, and then I'm just going to sign up for an account. So now it is asking what type of channels that we want. So here, the first option is 30 different channels. This is the orange subscription with $25 a month, or you could get 45 channels. This is the blue subscription. And then here you can have 50 plus channels, which is the orange and the blue subscription. So you can go through here and see what is included in all of those. So there is what is included with the orange subscription. Here is what is included with the blue service. And then here you have all of those channels in one. So one requirement that a lot of people have is the Hallmark channel. So that is actually not a part of this, but there are different add-ons that you can add so you can get Hallmark on Sling TV. So then down here, we have the option to add extras and a DVR. So you can get the total DV deal, which offers a few extra things. So you have extra kid channels comedy, or you can do four for $10 deal where you can add a few different things and then you also have an option for cloud DVR. So you can choose what it records and you can store up to 50 hours of DVR. And then you have, if you're into sports, you have some sports extra, comedy extra, kids. So here is individually. So it's kind of like an all cart where you can choose exactly what types of things you want to watch. And then down here, you have a few more options. So if you want Showtime or Stars, so each of these will add costs to Sling TV, but for the most part, you probably just want the basic subscription. So as we scroll through the list, you will see a ton of different options available. And then right here, you do have the Hallmark Movies Now option. So that's $6 extra a month, and you can choose that. And this would also come with the free seven day trial. So. We can select that. So I'm just gonna scroll through here. There's still a ton of different options available. You have NBA League Pass that you could pay for, and you could choose a team, and you could choose different languages. So that looks good. We're going to select Continue. And then here I'm gonna enter my info so I can get that free trial. Once we've added all our info, now we just need to select Finish and Submit. Now, not only can you use Sling TV on the Google devices I show you today, but there are many other options in which you can watch Sling TV as well. So we're just going to select Start Watching Now, and then we will need to sign into our account. So once we've signed in, we can then browse through and find different channels, and then we can quickly add favorite channels. So let's say I wanna add ESPN, and I want to add HGTV, Food Network, my wife is gonna love watching that. And then my kids wanna watch the Disney Channel. So then we go back and then here are some options for recommended TV for me. So Sling TV allows you to watch what is playing right now. So just like cable TV, you turn on the TV, you can change the channels, you have the option to do that here. So down here we have a guide, so we can currently see what's on at one, or we can scroll over 1.30, 2 o'clock, 2.30, so you have that option there. Then down here we have the option to choose a different channel to watch. So here it's showing some of the top recommended channels, and then over here we can check out sports, and then we have our other options. Now that we have our premium Sling TV account set up, we're ready to watch TV on the TV. So there are a bunch of different ways you can do this. If you have a smart TV, you could find the Sling app and sign in, but today we're gonna show you how to do it with the Google product. So first let's talk about the Chromecast. So in the back, I have a Chromecast plugged into my TV. This is actually the Chromecast Ultra. So either one of those versions will work. So you do need to have that already set up on your Wi-Fi network. A video how to do that will be up here. Now we're going to go to the application to play videos from the app to the TV. So here in the app, up at the top you have the Chromecast icon. 
So I'm just gonna select the Chromecast icon and it's gonna show the different devices within my home that are compatible. So here I have a bunch, but at the top you can see the Chromecast Ultra, which is the TV that is behind me. So I'm gonna tap Chromecast Ultra and now you can see right there it is showing Sling on the TV and it's ready to receive content. Now here on the app, we can just scroll through. Let's go back to the channels and let's say I want to watch one of these videos from Hallmark Movies Now. So if I tap on what I wanna watch, and then here I have the option to watch. So I select watch, and now you can see over here on the Chromecast Ultra, it is automatically going to start playing that video. There you go. Now you have options, so on my phone, I can actually change the volume, and it's turning down the volume over there on the TV. Now this video is actually on Sling TV, so we can just watch the full thing. So down here at the bottom, I could skip through, and if I wanna to go to a certain part of the movie, maybe I stopped watching, I'm gonna come back, I am able to do that. And then here you also have the option to turn on and off closed captioning, so there you can see that the closed captioning popped up on the TV and I can turn it off again. So if I want to browse and find something else to watch, if I go back, it's going to still play that video up here on the TV. So then I can go back on the application and let's say I want to find something else to watch. Let's go back to my TV and let's find a different movie to watch. So right here, family movies, Christmas story. Let's go ahead and watch that. So I select watch and then it changes it over there. So now that we're playing the movie, here we have the options to pause, we can skip or rewind. So let's pause that. So that's how you can cast Sling TV to your Chromecast. But now I want to do this without having to touch my phone or find my phone. So now we're going to set this up so I can actually use my Google Assistant speaker to control Sling TV on my Chromecast. So this will work with any other Google Assistant speaker and I've already set this up on my Wi-Fi network as well. So now we're going to head into the Google Home application and then at the very top left of the screen, you have the plus. So I'm gonna select plus, and then I'm gonna go down here and it says videos and photos. So when I tap on there, it's gonna show me different services that you can use with your Google Assistant and link to your account. So as we scroll down a little bit, here we have Sling TV and it's showing that I'm not signed in. So now I just need to select a link, and here it's saying some information is going to pass between Sling TV and my Google account. I'm okay with that, so I'm going to select link account. Now we need to sign into our Sling TV account. Make sure you put in the right password because if you forget it for three times, you're gonna be locked out for three more hours. So now that we've done that, back on this page, it's showing that the Sling TV account subscription has been added. Now that our premium Sling TV account is linked in the Google Home application, we can begin playing movies or watching TV by using our Google Home speaker to the Chromecast device. So as how this works is you're going to activate your Google speaker, you're going to say what you wanna watch or the channel you wanna watch, and then you're gonna say on Sling. And then once you do that, it will begin playing on the TV. Now if you do have multiple Chromecast devices, after you say on Sling, you will need to say on whatever the name of that device is. So like here, I have a Chromecast Ultra, so I'm gonna say watch HDTV on Sling on Chromecast Ultra. But if you only have one Chromecast in your house, you just need to say watch HGTV on Sling, and then it will automatically begin playing on the TV. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Watch HGTV on Sling on Chromecast Ultra. Sure, HGTV on Chromecast Ultra. And now you can see that it is going to be playing on the TV. We've taken down all this wall over here. Now that our channel is playing, we have all kinds of different controls that we can use. We can ask it to pause, we can play, we could also skip, rewind, turn on and off subtitles. So there you can see that the subtitles are actually on. If I wanna turn those off, all I need to say is turn off subtitles and now you can see that the subtitles are off. So because we started the cast from our Google Home speaker, whenever we ask it to play something again or change something, it's going to adjust the TV. So if I say set the volume to 50%, it's not going to change the volume of the speaker, it's going to change the volume of the Chromecast until we ask it to stop. So set the volume to 50%. Yeah. Now you can see it changed the volume on the TV. Hey Google. Mute. So now let's say we want to watch a movie that we know is available on Sling. Hey Google. Watch a Christmas story on Sling. 
Okay, a Christmas story from Sling TV, playing on Chromecast Ultra. And now it's going to start playing. Now that time you noticed that I only said on Sling, because we are already watching TV on my Chromecast Ultra, I didn't need to say Chromecast Ultra again and again. Hey Google. Skip 10 minutes. Oh, you know what? I missed a part. Hey Google. Rewind two minutes. So there you can see it actually works really well and it's very quick to respond to whatever you ask it to do. So far to watch anything, I've been using the watch command. So watch a certain channel or watch a specific movie, but you could also say play. Hey Google. Play Food Network on Sling. Sure, Food Network on Chromecast Ultra. And now it is playing over there. So even though we started playing the videos from our Google Home to the Chromecast, we can actually head to the Google Home application and stop what is playing. Also on my Android phone, if I pull down here, you can see that on my Chromecast Ultra, it is playing from Sling TV. So at any time I could pull open my phone, pause right there, and I can also mute and unmute the device as well. Now, if you head into the Google Home application, right here at the top, you have media. If you open up media, now it is showing what is playing on your network. So if you have an iPhone or an Android device, you can come in here and you can see what is playing on the TV and I can pause it and play it right from there. Now, when you are done watching TV on your Chromecast, you just need to ask your Google Assistant to stop. Hey Google. Stop. And now it has ended watching TV and it's gone back to the main page. If you have a supported TV, the turn off command will also turn off the TV and the stream. Turn off. Now that we've seen how to do this from our Google Nest speaker to the Chromecast, let me show you how to do this all in one on a Google Smart Display. Now I previously set up my Nest Hub Max through the Google Home application and connected it to my Wi-Fi. And because we also connected our Sling TV account through the Google Home application, we're already ready to begin watching Sling TV on our Nest Hub Max here. Now this could be done on any Google Smart Display. So this is the Nest Hub Max. It would also work on the Nest Hub or even the Lenovo Smart Displays. So all the commands that we're going to use are actually very similar to casting to the TV, but we don't need to worry about saying Chromecast or Chromecast Ultra. So let's try it out. Okay, Google. Watch ESPN on Sling. Okay, ESPN. Hey, Google. Set the volume to five. Hey, Google. Mute. Hey, Google. Watch a Christmas story. Okay, playing a Christmas story on Sling TV. Skip one hour. Hey Google. Turn off subtitles. But, uh, the bears are playing green. Hey Google. Watch HGTV on Sling. Okay, HGTV. You could. There's no adding. One of the benefits of the smart display is it is a touch screen, so I could interact with it on screen. Now with the Nest Hub Max, it also has the camera on top where you have the gesture where you can pause just by raising your hand. That's really convenient when it's really loud in the room and you can't get it to pause. So that is how you can control Sling TV on your Google Assistant smart display. And there you have it. That is how you can sign up for Sling TV and start watching TV right on your phone or casting it to a Chromecast device, how you can use your Google Nest speaker to cast to a Chromecast device, or how you can use a smart display like the Google Nest Hub Max to watch Sling right on the display. So there are a lot of details here. So if you have any further questions, please let me know in the comments below. I'll also leave a link to my blog post all about how to do this in the description. And if you would like to see more ways in which you can use your Google Nest speaker with your Chromecast device, make sure you check out my playlist over here on the side. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.